All right, my friends, welcome back to Wildermyth. Uh, this is going to be episode two of our adventure. And if I can figure out how YouTube cards work, if you didn't see episode one, I will put a card up in the upper right hand corner. I'm very excited today because in addition to playing a fantastic game and trying a fun creative project, I am joined today uh, by my friend Zeke, who is also a big Wildermyth fan and will be taking over uh, the character of Rysta, our mystic who we are about to meet, and uh, probably the next character that joins the party as well, so that we have a nice two and two balance. Uh, Zeke, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey guys, uh, Zeke Hardman here. I also do voiceover stuff, not in the audiobook sphere, but uh, I do love storytelling, wildermyth, video games, just that sort of stuff in general. So saw that my, my buddy Zach was doing this and thought that's pretty cool. I'll see if he wants some company on the way. And indeed, I do. It will be fun. So uh, let's hit play here and we can continue. Uh, as you recall, we are etched in stone, so hopefully technology cooperates and everything goes well, because we can't go back. Oh, that's right. Uh, all right. Um, my friends, we are back on the overworld map, and we have to find Rysta at the old tower, so we will <laughs> scout the cool plains. They are so cool. Arco leading the way as he is the scout. Uh, so, the previous night, the tower where Rysta had arranged to meet Vale and Arco is a place she often used to escape to as a girl. She knows its rooms and floors so well. She could survive being chased through them. And now I wait, I suppose. <coughs> Dust gets deep as rain puddles in here. Alive's alive until that beast breaks through. Well, beast. Woof. <laughs> Sniffler, I love that. <laughs> How are your plans coming along? The tower has outlived generations. The emptiness is deep and fragrant. The odor of 10,000 rains that have soaked into stone. But as the old will tell you, Precious things go overlooked in a ruin. What lodges amid the bones of failure is often the dream that drove it. That book. Why have I never... <sniffs> Easy there. I guess you're wondering why I'm talking to myself, huh, beast? I'm also wondering. Rice to bends to pull it loose. The book's heavier than its slender spine suggests. Wildermyth. Look at all this. It's full of strange stories. The folklore of folk long forgotten. The candlelight leaping. Strikes no significant bell. It's the weird story of a child watching candlelight against the ceiling and wishing herself through it to a far realm without grown-ups. Gift of the inscriptor. Proposes an unlikely legend that one spider-limbed man crafted all written language. 
he trapped ants between vellum and pressed them so long and relentlessly that they became letters. Papa Kingbreak's Horn Spins the yarn of a father who drank so much and laughed so freely that he grew a beautiful spiral horn. His children were very proud. Rysta reaches the last word of the final tall tale. A few blank pages are left. This book. Something in her feels like it's coming loose, but she can't tell exactly what. There's room in it for another story. It's cold. I'm stuck here. All right, then. So, this is how I'll start it. Here, in our yandering country. Rista writes, words are ready. Omens have formed in the fabric of everything, and she's beginning to recognize them now. Some are just misgivings. They've crept through her body like the sourceless aches one wakes with. Others are more substantial. They seem lightning plain, a promise of thunder. For in the wild black woods were birds once belled. A hateful silence churns. Pain lights Rista's head. Ah! <laughs> subsides. I made it to morning? She lowers her bleary eyes. Her story lies before her in luminous script. Empty pages have sprouted behind it. <clears throat> Why do I feel... powerful? All right, so first character choice. Yes. The question is, spoon or <laughs> basic wand, staff. Basic staff, pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I personally am always a favor, uh, in favor of the spoon, just because I think it's the funnier choice of the two. <laughs> that is fair. Hmm. Open wide, beast. I'm getting out of here. So our foe card this time is a Rager. It charges without seeing, misshapen tusks swinging wildly. And now we find out, do I have control of this character? I do. I think or you can. should, yes. No. Oh, yeah. So with the mage, a lot of what you're trying to do is sort of interfuse or bond with some of the various scenery artifacts here and then use them as sort of a, uh, a fuel for your magical attacks. So we're going to bond with this uh, saying it's knives, kind of look like a bucket, but and uh, we can then explode it to deal damage. Nice. Very good. And uh, having exploded the knives, we also destroyed them. So now we'll bond with these buckets, which are actually buckets. Fortunately, he has absolutely no way to fight back. Yep, this uh, little wall doing work for us here. All right, see if this cabinet can do something for us. Every uh, different type of scenery <clears throat> that you bond with does a different thing, usually based on the material that it's made from. So, this uh, splinter blast here. <clears throat> splinter blast here will do 
two damage, one shred, and one pierce. Damage is obviously the damage that it will deal to the health. Shred removes one armor, and pierce penetrates one armor. So, let's uh, see what we got here. Nice. There we go. So, killed him. Now you take get that. Your... <laughs> <laughs> now we get to truly become a wizard. Mm -hmm. Or mystic. Or mystic in this case. Uh, let's see. So, elementalist. Elementalist sort of empowers what your infused magic will do. It gives an additional effect, or I think a replacement effect, right? So, fire. It does more than it would if you were not into, uh, an elementalist. If bonded with fire, when using it, it won't extinguish the fire. Wood, instead of that splinter blast that we were using in that fight there, we get splinter salvo, which is better. Um, and then liquid, so, uh, you know, if that bucket had been what we bonded with, we would now have infernal rain. So elementalist kind of upgrades the offensive uh, options that you have when it interfused. Soul splitting. Uh, it's a kind of a tankier upgrade because it's going to split some of the damage that you take with targets that you're uh, with which you're interfused, but splits the damage between you. Uh, but I'm going to be honest, I think Earth Scribe is fantastic. Yeah. And it's definitely going to be what we choose here because your allies can wall with the objects you interfuse with, which gives them some temporary armor bonuses. Uh, and you can interfuse with stone and then give yourself or your allies a temporary shield which i think is fantastic i love earth scribe anytime it comes up yeah it's very good yeah uh because i'm the rice is the only character in the party she's the only one who can get this piece of armor heartwood isn't bad but since she has literally no other items we will take the 0.5 armor yep might as well yeah all right More monsters roam the ruined halls and rattle the rotting furniture. But Rysta moves quietly, sensing her way in the dark. Daylight lands on her wrist. Cool wind soothes her tired eyes. All I had to do was the impossible. Not too bad. She closes the tower door, gentle to make no noise. <laughs> that was the mystic's art that I did, right, Tower? Where'd I get it from? Could it have just happened? Is it just one of those things? things a woman's born with that might blossom in her life when she needs them. I'm not going to have to start believing in that stuff, am I? Rista? It'll be useful if I figure it out, of course. Hopefully I'm not endangering anything. Rista, you bunkhead. Hey, Rista. Something happened? Hmm? Vale, yeah, sorry. Arco's voice just bounces off my ear sometimes. Vale saved my life. Convinced me to come get you. Yeah, see that smoke on the horizon? That's from the town. Yeah, that's Kingbreak. It burned? Groo! I love that sound. It's so funny. All of the, like, monster sound effects are so hilariously transcribed. Yeah. <laughs> Things are different than they were. Hmm. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've ever seen something quite like this. A monster? Sure we have. We slay monsters. Skeptical look. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I do magic.
All right. So the party reunited. Uh, okay, it's telling us about sites. You've discovered a new site. It's still under enemy control, though. Click on the banner to assault it. And my friends, I think that is going to do it for episode two. Uh, thank you to Seek for joining me. I'm very excited about this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed as well. And we will see you again next time. In Wildermyth.